Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonia Maya, and this video is going to be three tips on approaching someone you're interested in online. And I'm loving that there's like a rainbow reflection on the wall, but I need to close my, my curtains. <laughs> this video is mostly going to be for heterosexual men who want to reach out to a woman on the internet and make her feel comfortable and possibly form a real connection. The most important tip is at the end of the video and I see a lot of men making this mistake so you don't want to miss that so make sure you watch watch until the end and don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on bell notifications if you find this information helpful when you're looking at her profile let's say you're on a dating app which I'm not a huge fan of or you're on Instagram no matter where you're trying to message this person take the time to actually scroll through her profile if it's possible to find a connection between the two of you, like something you both have in common, this is going to be really, really useful in terms of starting a interesting conversation. For example, if you see on her profile that she likes to go to music festivals, that's a common interest. You could say, oh my goodness, I love music festivals too. What was the last music, which was the last music festival that you went to? Or what's the best experience that you've ever had at a music festival? Tell me about that. Like seem interested in something that's like a common interest. You want to show your personality the most you possibly can, make her feel comfortable and you wanna make it easy for her to respond. I can't tell you how many men start the conversation with, hey, hi, what's up? In this situation, you're messaging someone without actually saying anything. There's no substance. And you're also making the other person initiate the conversation because you're not really saying anything. You're just giving a greeting. Well, that one example was great. So like, let's say she had the photos of concerts or festivals. You could say, what was the best festival experience you've ever had? Example number two, let's say she's holding food like tacos, right? You could be like, oh my goodness, I love tacos. I've been looking for the best taco in Philly area. What do you suggest? Eh? Eh? It's gonna be so much better to show that you're human rather than just a hi, a hey. It's so, so robotic and I personally, it's like probably one of my biggest pet peeves with uh, messaging online besides um, non-consensual d-pics. Those, those are also really annoying. <laughs> Tip number two, let's say it's not possible to find a commonality or something to relate to on her profile. Take an interest in something that she likes and play it cool. Maybe you could see that she studies psychology or she posted something about psychology. What do you like about psychology? Maybe she goes to concerts. What do you like about that artist that you went to go see? That looked like a cool show. I watched your story, you know? There's nothing wrong with taking an interest in something that you see that she likes. Uh, and after a little bit of back and forth, conversating, um, you seem really cool. I'd love to like, get to know you better. And then maybe you can ask for her number. You need to like establish a conversation first rather than just being like hey you're hot uh so can i get your number like no you have to make a woman feel comfortable in a world where we have been we have been trained and we've been taught that the world is not a safe place and the internet does not make that any better okay we have to be really cautious because there's so many predator like mofos out there so show that you're a real person and that you can be trusted in the best way you can be human when you're texting a woman that you don't know that well you want to try to keep the same length in terms of like sentences. You don't have to go down to the word, but like if she's giving you a sentence or two, give her a sentence or two. Like an exchange of messages is like an exchange of energy. So if you're giving like her a whole paragraph and she's like giving you like a sentence or two, there's there's something imbalanced about the energy. And like, it sounds kind of silly to like really pay attention to that kind of thing. But there's been a lot of guys that have messaged me these like ridiculously long paragraphs, or they'll ask me like a bunch of questions all in one. So what do you do for work? Where are you from? Like, what do you, what are your hobbies? And like, they give me like a survey of things to answer. That's overwhelming. You want to take it one or two questions at a time and like really match the energy of the back and forth. That is really important if you think about it, because most people are not going to want to, they're going to feel overwhelmed by so many messages, so many questions. And it seems like kind of desperate. It comes off very desperate and, and, and a little strange in my opinion. Something that might be kind of hard to do is do your best to have positive expectations. You want to talk to this woman as if things were gonna end in your favor. You might be jaded by your experiences and you maybe have not had very good experiences. Maybe hopefully this video will help you with that. Pretend that you know there's gonna be a positive outcome and positive responses to what you're saying. And what you say and how you say it is going to kind of help monitor that 
It's also important to really think about before even messaging one, anyone in general, make sure you know your value and what you bring to the table before approaching any woman. Because if you know your value, you know like I'm a great person and I could be this awesome partner for somebody and I'm goal oriented and you think about the positive qualities you have to boost your own self-esteem a little bit and boost your confidence before actually going into the situation because it's going to make you feel a lot better. And knowing what you have to offer, that's really important because relationships are all about reciprocity. I've been doing some research and I've found that apparently it's really attractive when somebody speaks directly. It shows dominance. So if you don't really know what that means, basically when you're saying something like more direct, you're saying it with more confidence and reassurance of what you want. So for example, instead of saying, could you possibly go on a date with me sometime? Or would you go on a date with me? You could say something like with an I at first, I would, I would love to take you on a date because you seem like a really great person or a really cruel girl, that kind of thing. Start it with I because it's like, I would love to take you on a date rather than could you possibly go on a date with me sometimes? Seems like a little bit less dominant and research shows that women a lot of the time are more attracted to men with like more dominance and confidence. So sometimes the way that you word things portrays this confidence and research shows that dominance in communication is more attractive than the, the opposite. And I also just read this study about when you actually meet the person, the way that you position your body can actually make a huge difference. It's been shown that an expansive posture can actually increase one's chances of initial romantic success. So like outspread limbs, taking up more space with your body is apparently more attractive. I just learned this today. Researchers say that open posture might hint dominance which is like when somebody has an open posture, they are seen as more desirable. So um, men with like widespread limbs and stretched out, or studies done in speed dating situations, they actually had more romantic interest than those who had like folded their arms. So like going like this, it doesn't really make you seem that appealing. So like if you're at a bar, right, and you wanna attract some mates, it's better to have an open posture because it's like more approachable than if you're just like facing your friend. Like people aren't going to approach you. In general, when you're like trying to change the way you speak and speak more directly, that could be a little bit uncomfortable at first, right? Because it's different than what you're used to. But that's actually a good thing because if the way you've been approaching dating situations in the past hasn't worked for you, then it shows that something needs to change, right? So it's okay to be uncomfortable and use it as practice. And lastly, the most important thing, the way you compliment a woman. This is very important in terms of making her comfortable and showing your intentions. This is so crucial in how the interaction turns out and whether she's interested. Research actually shows that using metaphorical compliments can make men more attractive to women. Apparently, Using a metaphorical compliment, for example, this one sucks, it's from the internet, your eyes are morning dew. <laughs> your eyes are morning, like morning dew. I hate that one. Your, my, your eyes remind me of a kaleidoscope. They're just so beautiful. You know, that kind of metaphorical concept. Instead of saying like, your lips are so sexy, don't do that. A, the way that you compliment a woman can make her feel objectified. So my personal perspective, sexy, hot, fine, just don't ever use those. If the intention is to show her that you're interested in her romantically, you're not going to want to use those compliments. You're going to want to use beautiful, gorgeous. But you know what's even better? The metaphorical compliments and appearance. Complimenting her on something other than appearance. Like one that's really short is you, you seem like such a great catch. You hold yourself together so well. Your style is so appealing, which is a little more appearance, but it's not directly appearance. Apparently when you use metaphorical compliments, it portrays intelligence and creativity, which are shown to be attractive qualities that a woman looks for in a man, even if it's subconscious. So instead of just saying like sexy, hot, you know, using metaphorical compliments about her appearance, that's fine. Or using ones that are more about like the fact that you're so passionate about psychology is really attractive like that kind of thing because it's more about her goals and values than her appearance you want to make her feel empowered rather than sexualized and i've been in this situation so many times if i'm attracted to you and i think you're attractive and we're having a good thing back and forth and you call me sexy i'm not going to want that i'm going to feel like your intention from the beginning was to have sex with me so that's a great example and i've, I've done polls on instagram and tiktok and other women have also stated that they do not like 
use, being objectified in this way. But those are the three tips that I wanted to highlight for you. I really hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on bell notifications. Comment below anything, any reactions. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, I would love to have a conversation about this. And I will see you next week for another video. Bye.